this is squash with Parker's Permaculture. We're here to be shaking some beans into a box. This is Angela with Parker's Permaculture and I'm outside with my 17 year old. We are beekeepers and we have caught a swarm in our yard. We actually have done nothing except have a garden where apparently a swarm has wanted to move in. So this is a gummy berry bush and we are going to be shaking the bees off of this branch into this box, then walking this box into our empty hive in the apiary and dumping them in. So I'm gonna do my best to film and help my daughter and talk a little bit about catching swarms. So if you haven't caught a swarm of bees before, or if you've seen a swarm of bees, they're very docile. I'm gonna get a little quieter as we get close to them. So they make a droop off of a branch or they might congregate on your barbecue or under the hood of your car or wherever, but this is an ideal situation, six feet off the ground. Um, I can reach them without getting on a ladder. They're a nice size, bigger than a football. And we will be able to shake them into a box and get them into a new home. So these bees are gonna be docile. They're not interested in stinging you. This is in fact, people tend to be Culturally, we tend to be afraid of swarms of bees and that has a really scary connotation, but they actually are at their most docile when they're swarming. Most beekeepers don't handle them with gloves. I swell up quite a bit if I get stung, so I will be putting gloves on. So forgive any little jerky camera motions here. I'm gonna put my other glove on. I will shake this branch. Ruth is gonna catch them and we will show you how that process works. Hang tight here while I get my glove on. I want to make sure when I put my glove on that I have it up over my sleeve so that um, everything is sealed and there is no way for bees to get inside my suit. So we got a little shaky video here. Okay, Ruth, are you ready? Yeah. So I want to just find where the, which branch they're attached to. Now sometimes you might want to prune extra branches out of the way, but I don't think these girls are going to be bothered. So they're on this branch, so I'm going to just grab the branch. I'm gonna give it a shake and they're gonna hopefully fall right into the box. Ruth, are you right underneath? I believe okay. so. Okay, ready? I'm gonna give it another good shake. Okay, Ruth, then you can set it on the ground. Nope. Just set it right there below it. I'll step on uh, you might end up stepping on a couple. And you have quite a few bees on you. You look very epic. So most of the bees are down in this box. And if we caught the queen in there, the rest of them, yeah, you wanna just um, gently pick them up and you can put them into the box. The rest of them, if we caught the queen, will go down into the box here over the next few minutes. If we didn't catch the queen, they'll go back up onto the branch. And then we'll have to try and shake again. So we want to just give them half an hour, maybe an hour, to see if they settle down in the box. And if they have, then we'll be able to move them into their new home. And I'm going to go help my daughter get the last couple stragglers off the top of her hat and get them into the box for her. And we will be back soon. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, please like it and please subscribe to our channel for more about natural beekeeping and permaculture. Okay, Thanks. I'm back. It's only been about 10 minutes. Ruth and I actually saw some of the bees continuing to congregate on a branch. So we cut a branch off and put it in the box. And now you can see the bees are all walking this way. So we must have the queen in the middle of that ball because they're all moving toward her and they're coming down out of the sky and out of the branches. So it looks like we got her. So we're just gonna leave them here for the next hour or maybe longer, keep checking on them. Some of them still continue to linger up here because there's pheromone. And so they get a little confused about where to go. Initially, this swarm had started alighting on a plum tree in a different part of the garden. And there's quite a huge swirl around that tree and a lot of bees landing in that tree. And then all of a sudden they moved into this gummy berry over the course of just a few minutes they changed their mind and went over here and it was interesting in that plum tree there were a number of bees that kept lingering because there's still that trace pheromone from their queen and um, took them a while to figure out 
uh, to get with the program and figure out like where the party went. So um, these bees up here in this Gumi berry are gonna have the same issue. They just need a little bit of time to figure out that their queen has actually moved down into this box. So I'm gonna get a little close up. I'm gonna be quiet, get a little close up here, and then we'll be, ba be back in a little bit. Alrighty, we're back. It's been about an hour and a half. And as you can see, there are fewer than half a dozen bees in the air. They are all settled in this box. And I put a little piece of cardboard on top. I have a swarm catching bee trap box and I could have used that that had a real lid, but we actually just were in a hurry and we grabbed a wooden box that we happen to keep our sandals in that's in the mud room. So um, that's what we ended up using and it didn't have a lid. So to make the bees feel more at home, I stuck a piece of cardboard on top because they are cavity nesters. So now we're gonna go shake this into the hive. I have opened the top bar hive and we are gonna go walk these bees in and give them a new home. Okay, we're back and Ruth is going to get the remainder of the bees in. So we took some of the bees that were on the cardboard lid and we gently scraped them in. So you, there are a couple ways to do this. You can turn the box upside down and literally just shake it or you can, um, kind of gently scoop them handful by handful. Remember, bees don't like to be rolled. So you wanna gently scoop, you don't wanna roll and squish them. I brought the brush if we need to do that. So Ruth um, is 17 and she has been beekeeping with me for about seven years. She's not afraid of bees because if you understand the way bees work, the physiology of the bees, the behavior of the bees, you don't need to be afraid of them. You understand the language that they're speaking. And just like having a dog, right? Mm -hmm. Or a cat, you understand their body language and their mm -hmm. um, humming. You can tell mm -hmm. what they're trying to say to you. So no need to be afraid of them. These bees are gonna be real docile. They're not interested in stinging us. Again, they're interested in finding a new home and settling in with their queen and starting to accumulate stores of pollen and honey. So Ruth, I think you can probably carefully up in the box. Yeah, it's about to. And? Yeah, so it, it is inevitable when you are beekeeping that you will end up squishing some ladies now and then. Um, obviously, you definitely don't want to squish the queen when you're moving a swarm. It's, you gotta be real careful that you're not going to damage the queen. Um, something to think about when you're shaking bees into a hive is that bees really like to move uphill. So if you're shaking them down into a hive, um, you sometimes, sometimes they will just fall in and sometimes you gotta get them a little jostle. So this is a, a hive that, um, this is a hive of mine. I'm, testy by rolling them here but oh. this is a hive of mine that has been empty so we're really grateful to have it a new home this colony a new home um, and they'll clean out all of the old wax that's in here uh, there's no honey left because this hive took all of the honey out when this colony died but they have left some wax the fact that it's old and smells like bees means that it's attractive to other colonies because they know it's a good kind of cavity a good home for bees and this colony was very large before it died so folks often wonder if you need to bleach or clean out your hive you don't the bees are very fastidious and tidy and you will notice when they move in they clean out any moths what uh moth cocoons wax moth cocoons couldn't get that out right and they clean out any um ants that are in here any spider webs and they will reuse the wax so i'm gonna help Ruth here get the last of the bees in and then it is almost dusk we want to let them settle in here for the night and hopefully they will take up and be happy here and have lots and lots of flowers to visit in our garden and in our neighbors gardens all right thank you for watching hope that y'all enjoy your holiday weekend and I will be back tomorrow with another video